tisket a tasket. Let's make an origami basket. It's art time! Let's Sister Mayberry. Let's get busy! Happy Easter and welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Origami is the ancient Japanese art of folding paper. Today I'm going to show you how to make an origami Easter basket. So let's get started. It's time to fold. For this project we start with an 8.5 inch by 11 inch piece of paper. Cut it into a square 8.5 inch by 8.5 inch and that gives you a strip 2 inches by 8.5 inches. Keep this strip, we'll be using it later in the project. Okay, we take our square and fold it in half like a rectangle. Line up the edge as best you can and press down good on your folds. Open up the rectangle and turn it so that the crease is vertical and fold the bottom to the top again. Open that up. Turn it so that it's shaped like a diamond and fold the bottom to the top to make a triangle. Open up the triangle and turn it so the crease is vertical. Fold the bottom to the top again, making a triangle going the other direction. Okay, open this up and we're going to fold the bottom point to the middle. Okay, turn it to the next point and we're going to repeat this step on the remaining three points. All four corners should go to the center. They should touch but not overlap. Okay, take the flap in front of you, pull it down, and fold the point to the new crease that we've just made. And then fold it up again. Repeat this step all the way around the square. Pull down the flap, fold up to the crease, and then fold over on the crease. Okay, turn this on the back and we're going to fold the bottom edge to, so it lines up down the middle. There's a crease across the middle. Press down good on your fold. Okay, we're going to turn it around and do the same thing from the other direction. It should meet in the middle but not overlap. Okay, open this up, turn it so these two creases are vertical, and repeat the steps on the bottom and the top. So we're going to fold the bottom to the center going this direction, spin it around, and fold and again the bottom to the center from this direction. Okay, we're going to take the flap on the bottom here, lift it up, and you can see a slanted edge 
of the paper on each side. We're going to fold the corners in on that edge and then fold that flat back down. Spin it around and repeat the process. Okay, we're going to lift up the flap, fold the corners in, and fold the flap back down. Okay, now we open the center like this and this is going to form the main part of the basket. If you push in these two sides you'll see that there are four corners one two three four so we just have to take each of those corners and pinch on the corners and it'll give us a square shaped box that becomes the base for our basket. So this is the main part of the basket. We'll take the strip that I told you to keep at the beginning. We're going to take this strip and fold it in half lengthwise. Open it up. We're going to fold the outside edges to the center. So I'm going to take the bottom edge and fold it to the crease in the middle. Spin it around and fold this edge to the middle as well. They should meet in the middle but not overlap. Okay, fold it in half. And this is going to be the handle for the basket. I'm going to run it between my fingers here so that I can get it to make a good curve for the handle. Okay, take the handle and I like to put it on the attach it to the sides that have the slanted edges. Put it in the middle of the base, line it up down the center, and then use a staple to fasten it together. Now you can also use tape for this or glue, but I like to use a staple. Again, in traditional origami you wouldn't be using a stapler, but I'll make an exception today. I'm going to take the other end and line it up so it goes down the middle on the inside. And this is our project for today, an origami Easter basket. Just add some Easter grass and an egg and you have a nice table decoration. If you'd like to show me the Easter basket that you've made, check out the contact information below. And if you like origami, why not check out Origami Time with Mr. Mayberry. Well, thanks for coming to the art room and I'll see you next time. No, seriously, you want me to put all my eggs in one basket?